Hello and welcome to Programming One in Python. In this video, we're going to cover basic methods. Um, so before I go into methods, I'm going to have to define to you what a method is. A method is simply something you put in to get something out. Um, you could think of method as a method as a machine. Now you can write your own methods. Um, that might be a later video, but there that might be a later video or an extra. But a method is basically put stuff in with some information and get something out that is dealer information or it does something. So what's a few methods we use? Um, you saw me use the print. This is going to be the most basic method. So what happens with print is basically in these parentheses you put in what you want to print. Now you can print out numbers, you can print out text, you can print out just about anything. Um, that's pretty simple. You just put stuff in, get stuff, and stuff happens. Now there are a few other methods. Now, I want to talk about what these parentheses are. These parentheses are for what are called parameters. Parameters are things given to the method. So think of a parameter as like, here's, here's your machine. We'll call this our method. Now this method needs uh, one variable and it needs another variable. And it's going to give us out something or it's going to do something. So let's, let's write our own method. We'll just do add. And we'll write it to add two numbers. So it needs num1 and we need num2. So we put number one and we put number two in and we get num1 plus num2. And it just gives it back to us. Oops, I forgot the u. Yeah, I forgot the u in the word num. And num's a word. That's all it does. And that's all it needs to do. So just remember, the parentheses are things that go into it. They're basically the inputs of the machine. Okay, so another method to think of is input. So let's go, ah, input. Now, input is not like print. Print is what's called a void method. So you do something, it does something. You give it something, it does something. It doesn't return anything. Um, input's not. Input returns something. So what input does is you give input some kind of prompt. So you give input a prompt like enter something. And what it's going to do, hang on. <laughs> and what it's going to do is it's going to ask the user, or it's going to print out and enter something. Then it's going to wait for the user to type something in. And then it's going to actually become its own variable. So if we take a variable like x and set it equal to that, it's input enter something is going to become a variable once the user enters something. So the user enters something. This is going to go away and it's going to be replaced with that in the program. As far as the computer understands, it just replaces that with the word something. All right. So that's pretty simple. Now, these aren't hard methods and I'll go over these once we get onto the actual uh, computer and start working with these but yeah so these are just basic methods you're gonna wanna know um, another one would be rand int you won't use this one a lot um, you'll use it for very specific uses if you do it all and this one requires just a bit of extra stuff so rand int will take two numbers and it will give you a random number between those two numbers. So to get random, you actually have to do a little thing at the top of your document. You have to do from from random import random. Whoops. R A N D I N T. And what random will do, much like the input function it will become its own variable once it finds a value. So if we do x is equal to rand int 10 30. Notice this comma separates the values. Um, this comma is how you define different values to put into it. x equal to rand int 10 to 30. What this is going to do is going to say let's find a random number between 10 and 30. And then it's going to say, okay, so it finds a number. It says, well, we found, we found the number 16. We, we found the number 16. I don't know how it works. I don't really care how it works. 
but radian equal to 16. Okay, get rid of the function. Okay, now 16 goes into x. x is 16 now. And that's what the randit function is used for. Um, you can do a lot of fun things with randit, and it's usually the basis for a lot of random programs. And we'll get into this one in the future. But those are just the basic methods we'll be using here in Python programming. Um, we're not probably going to get into control flow or method control, but we might. And if we do, then these will be, then randit will be really useful. But otherwise, input and print should be pretty simple. Alright, thank you for watching and stay tuned.